Hey guys, uh, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to try starting a uh, Let's Play Feed the Beast series. Um, I just recorded a uh, video, let me turn that sound off, I uh, just recorded a video yesterday uh, showing off my learning world for Feed the Beast. Um, today I've been updating all the mods, um, configuring them, and uh, I think I'm ready to play in 146. Oh, didn't know it did that. Bunch of bunch of info down there. Uh, so I am using the Mindcrack pack from Feed the Beast uh, with a few modifications. I've disabled a few mods. Uh, Greg Tech, Factorization, MFFS, Zycraft, Ender Storage, Extra Bees, and most of Extra Biomes XL has been disabled. I've also added Mistcraft and the Portal Gun mod. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So the, the main difference between this and the world that I showed in the video I just posted before, which is compressing as I'm recording this, uh, it's, a, it's a long one, so it's going to take like all day and all night. But anyway, the main difference is uh, Red Power 2, and I know almost nothing about that mod, so we'll be learning as we go along. So um, I looked at a few different seeds before I started this and decided that uh, we're just going to do this by the luck of the draw. So... That's T's probably shouldn't be capital. Uh, all right, so we're doing survival, default one, yep. Uh, I'm actually gonna turn on cheats just in case. Um, I, I don't generally use them, but it's nice to have them there uh, in case I actually need them for something. So don't expect to use them ever, but uh, it's there just in case something gets screwed up and we really need it. So random seed, let's see what we get. Come on, generate, generate. Okay, we've started in Taiga, we have beach around. Okay, so uh, you all know what starting the game looks like, so I won't bore you with the details. I'm just gonna look around, find a good spot to set down my home, and uh, I'll be back with you once I've picked a spot for it. Uh-oh. Alright, so I've collected up a few basic supplies. Uh, I'm just looking around for a different spot. Where I'd like to go is a forest biome. Um, I really like the way the grass looks in a forest. And uh, I'm thinking ahead to beekeeping. Ooh, sugar cane, gotta take that. Found a little bit of iron out of ground, and I was just getting my stone together. Oh, I love the 3D items. Very happy to be in Minecraft 146. Uh, I love this. Um, oh, yeah, there's a... Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and scoop that out. Because I just really love the the beekeeping uh, that forestry gives you. I did disable the extra bees uh, mod, just because I'm going to start with the basic ones that forestry itself provides before I get into... Any kind of, um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. M maybe I'll turn it back on at some point, but... Alright, so that'll get us started. Uh, ooh, copper looks a little different than it did in uh, whatever I was playing before. Let's go ahead and get that. We also have some appetite here, which can be a little bit useful. But anyway, I'm just going to gather resources that I see that are convenient and look for a forest. Looks like, uh, looking at the mini-map, it looks like this taiga goes on for a while, so I might be wandering for a bit, but I'll be back with you if anything exciting happens. Ooh! Oh, what are these? Flax seeds? That's new. What do I do with them? Interesting, interesting. I assume this is a red power thing? Yeah, I was watching something about red power. I think that's used for it. Okay, cool. Oh, here's something else new. Looks like a mixture between coal ore and sand. I was playing around in creative a little bit uh, just to make sure my world was all working. I think this, this is oil? Oil sands, yeah. Uh, I assume I use that for power somehow, or... I don't know. Let's collect it and see what happens. Ooh. Oh, that's stone. I thought it was clay. It's like a weird place for clay. 
Uh, inventory's already pretty full. Bees, unfortunately, don't stack normally. Um, there's a lot of wintry beehives around, and I can't help but get them. I'll probably start skipping them if I see any more. Uh, yeah, okay, let's... Looks like this goes on for a while. Uh, I'm out of the... Well, sort of on a beach now, but I'm out of taiga now in ice plains. Ice plains tend to be very large, so I might be walking for a while. My hunger situation's looking pretty dire. So, I'm gonna have to find some food soon. Maybe I'll hunker down in a cave and grow some wheat or something. That's why I was collecting those seeds earlier. And yeah, looks like it's getting dark already. So, uh, let's find a hidey hole. Found a pig, we can eat him. Two, that'll do. It'll fill me up, just about. I see some, uh, I believe that's amber over there. I wonder what kind of pick I need to mine it. Let's go find out if I can get it with stone. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I'm very hungry, so I think this is the spot we're gonna settle down for the night. Just temporarily. We'll move on in the morning and keep looking for- Did I hear a chicken? Thought I heard a chicken. Uh, keep looking for a forest. Cannot get it with a stone pick. Okay, I'm gonna have to make an iron pick. I'm just gonna dig into the wall right here. And make a little hidey hole here. Smelt up this pork. Uh, I have enough wool to make a bed, so I'll just do... Oh! Yeah, so I don't have to wait out the night at all. That that makes this easy. Alright, so... Wood... Bed... Haha! -ha, thinking ahead. I am gonna have to stop here and cook up some pork, though, because... <laughs> half a... Half a... What do you call it? Remaining. So... Uh, oops. Need that. So I'll do that, and then we'll be back on the hunt for a forest. Iron pick gets it. Good. And I have enough iron left over to make a... Oh, well, if I actually cook it, make a bucket. So we'll do that. Don't want to use my coal, because... Uh, Later, you can uh, uh, use a macerator and a compressor to turn coal into diamonds at the rate of one stack of coal per diamond. So I want to save it all for that. I'll just be burning charcoal and other things, generally. Ooh, found something else new. I guess this is uh, marble. Uh, I know that's a red power thing, so... Inventory's pretty full. I think I'm gonna leave it here, but I'll definitely want some of that for later. Um, man, I really want to grab it now. Okay, well, we can get seeds anywhere. I only had two, so... Marble, yes! I don't know if it's, uh, is it useful for anything, or is it just decorative? Can make marble bricks... Okay, uh, wait, no. Looks like it's just decorative. Okay. That's fine. It's a very pretty block. So I'm gonna get some. I believe we're coming up on a volcano. Another red power thing. Uh, man, I want to grab these blocks, but my inventory is just way too full to do it. So, uh, I'm sure I can find more of these later, but it's definitely cool looking. Um, yeah, this stupid ice plains biome just goes on forever. Uh, I'm actually in Taiga now, but... Uh, same thing pretty... What the hell? That is really weird. I, uh... What? Okay, bunch of pigs died here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I really want that stuff. Um... I can always get more spruce saplings. Okay. That's very strange. <laughs> Alright, search continues. Okay, we found our way out of ice plains and into ice mountains. This is ridiculous. <gasps> What's that I see in the distance? I believe it's a forest! You can tell by the mini-map. Alright, oh, finally. Just look at our coordinates up there in the upper right. Uh, and see how far I had to go to find this. That was stupid. There's zombies around, apparently. Okay, we finally found a forest. Um... 
I wonder if this is isolated. Like, is that the ocean just there on the other side of it? Let's find out real quick before we decide to settle down here. Oh, I see a swamp, I think. This mini-map is, <laughs> it's like cheating. Um, wait, is that a, no, that must be a forest hive. Because, yeah, this is a forest. Uh, make sure that's a swamp over there. Yeah, so if I have a forest next to a swamp with some ice nearby, that seems satisfactory. Because I want to get a good mix of uh, biomes, or actually climates, for beekeeping uh, in the vicinity. And this gives me a decent one. The only one I'd really like to get that I don't have is desert. But uh, I'll take what I can get. So there's a rubber tree there. Good. Okay, so um, I'm going to settle down right in this area. Uh, I'm not sure the exact spot yet, but uh, I'm going to go look for a good one. Huh. That's a chest. Um, guess that was the uh, holiday surprise uh, they had in store for us. That That's not part of the mod pack. That's just Minecraft, I think. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to set my stuff down here. Uh, maybe clear out a nice area for a house or something. Yep, we'll see. All right, here is what we've ended up with. Um, so I'm a bit short on materials, so this is going to be a pretty uncreative build for the moment. But yeah, uh, I started flattening out this hill uh, up here, but the thought occurred to me. Um, I'm definitely going to want to replace this with a much larger building later. So what I think I might do is... Um, I don't have a shovel. Where's my shovel? Uh, I would like to... I built this sort of high up. This can become the top floor of the new house that I build here. Sort of a tiny little attic or something. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, so this has just been basic Minecraft stuff that I've been doing so far. But uh, our first goal as far as Feed the Beast stuff goes is going to be to get our industrial craft machines up and running. Um, going to have to go mining to get the resources for that. I think I have like one iron ingot. No, oh, it's not on me. It's in my chest. Um, but yeah, so now that we have a place to live, I uh, found our forest, got a swamp nearby. Um, very next thing I guess I need to do is go caving to get some resources for machines. So that is what we will be doing next. Oh, that's new. Nicolite. Okay, don't know what to do with that yet. Uh, what does it say? Okay, that's red power stuff. Cool. Well, we'll figure out what to do with that in a bit. Oh, here we go. I was having trouble finding a good cave, but an abandoned mineshaft will definitely do the trick. Now, what's this? That is ferrous ore. Interesting. Another new thing. I know what this is. This is from Thomcraft. This is Cinnabar. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering how early I'll be able to get Thomcraft up and running. Um, 
Ooh, ha, we're in 146, so I can silk touch those now. That'll be nice. Uh, but yeah, I found a bunch of lead. Uh, no iron on the way down here. Um, ooh, that looks like... Is that sapphire? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need some iron. Oh, and diamond! We found diamond. Not gonna worry about getting a fortune pick yet, because, well, we need at least five diamonds before we can even do that. Um, so, just gotta mine it. <laughs> uh, all fresh achievements, so we can see how that goes. Oh, uh, since rails are much harder to craft, with, uh, since I have rail craft installed, we're gonna grab those. Alright, this will get us started with Thomcraft. Most excellent. Finally some iron. You wouldn't believe it, but this is the first iron I've found in this whole caving trip. I mean, it hasn't been much of a caving trip yet. I just sort of dug diagonally downward and didn't hit a cave until I was almost at bedrock level. But yeah, come here for iron, get all sorts of other stuff. Inventory's full already, so I'm gonna have to run back and deposit some. But this looks like a really good mine shaft. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna come back and keep exploring this. I see gold, lapis, silver. I think that's silver. Yep. Cool. Oh goodness. <laughs> okay, I was playing around in creative mode. I seem to have left not enough items in um, cheat mode. So let's just go ahead and destroy those. Yeah, so I'm looking up the recipe for macerator because uh, I want to double my ore output as soon as possible. And if that's something that I can make already, then I would like to do that. Uh, have some iron smelting here, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, Let's, let's change this. Uh, th th uh, there we go. That's better. Okay. <laughs> um, Flint, cobblestone, machine block. That's not too bad. Oh, I uh, need an electronic circuit. So, okay, well, I'm going to work on that a little bit, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make it without too much difficulty. Wow, what is going on here? These are all natural. It's like a huge cluster of rubber trees all in the same place. But uh, that's good, because I'm looking for rubber, so here we go.
here. Hey, there's what I needed. I've been looking for redstone this whole time. Okay, I think that's the last thing I need to be able to make a macerator and a generator to power it. So I should be able to double my ore output now. Well, this is pretty cool. So I planted some of those flax seeds that I got, and apparently this is what it looks like when it grows. Um, my inventory's full. I would like to harvest that and see it. Hey, skeleton. Um, but... We have other priorities right now. Uh, I would like to make a macerator. So let's see. I believe I have all of the ingredients. I'm just clear some space here. Um, I need, yeah, I've already made those with the rubber I got from those trees earlier. I need this, this, got my redstone. Okay, let's see if I've done all this right. Okay, so we need an RE battery. There's that. Uh, we need a generator, because otherwise we won't be able to um, actually power the thing. So a generator is like this. So there's our generator. Suitable power. All right. Uh, now the macerator takes two flint, two co or three flint, two cobblestone, and what was the other thing? An electronic circuit. That's right. Okay. So we can make an electronic circuit. I have some refined iron here already, I believe. Yep. Circuit is like this. That goes there. These here. Cobblestone and... I've already forgotten. Oh, I need another machine block. Okay. All right, so we have to refine a bit more iron. One moment. All right, let's try this again. Uh, put down my generator and powered it up already, so that should be good to go. Okay, double trouble. Let's use this thing right now. It's powering up, generator's going, and, oop, not there. All right, so we have double our ore output. So that's that seems like a good start to me. Um, so what else? We need an extractor to get rubber more efficiently. Um, all right, what, what all, uh, what all do we want? Um, how do I do this? Uh, item subsets, industrial craft two, machines. Ooh, this thing's so weird. I'm just looking at, uh, all the stuff that's available and figuring out what I'm going to want. So, um, I want to try not using any solar panels. Um, that's going to be one of my goals in this world. Uh, they're they make the game a little bit too easy. Uh, it's just, it's free energy anytime it's daytime and not raining. So, uh, we're gonna need a compressor at some point. Electric furnace would be nice. Extractor. Yep. Um, nothing else is quite as high a priority as the macerator because that's just, you need that to, to get more ores. Um, so, uh, we'll be advancing along the industrial craft tech tree a little bit more next time. I'm kind of wrapping the episode up here. I don't know how long this is going to be. I've been recording for nearly two hours, but there's a huge amount of footage I'll be cutting out. So I'm guessing I'll edit, it, edit this down to about half an hour. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to pretty much do it for episode one. Uh, I intend to keep this series going as long as I can make it entertaining. Um, and yeah. I will see you guys next time.